See the hat? Y'all see it? We good? All right, back. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Miko Scotty, AKA Sir Steak A Lot, and episode four of Meta Ish is here. No, y'all been waiting for a long time, man, but I was like, I gotta get somebody special for this next episode. We got NFL pro athlete, a remarkable human being, and actually the owner of the NFT project that y'all saw in the beginning, Balloon Town. We got Eric. Ebron. Yes, yes, y'all. Literally, he's been in the NFT space for a while now, just investing in cryptos, NFTs, and things of that nature, and just building a community. And now he got his own project. And we literally just talked about his journey in the Web3 space, how to get started, uh, how to start a project, and how to, you know, just still be a good family man at the same time while doing all of this, man. It's a great video, man. You guys are gonna enjoy. Hit that like button, subscribe, man, and Comment down who y'all want to see next, man. I really appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. So I'm going to keep rocking with y'all and enjoy the video. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nico Scotty, a.k.a. Sir Steak A Lot. And yeah, we back with another episode of Meta Edition. Today, we got a special guest. We got an NFL pro athlete, Ooh. the best tight end there is, ah. father, husband, son, and overall what I think is just a great human being, not a bot, Eric Ebron. What's going on, bro? What's goody, my guy? Sir, thank a lot. Appreciate you having <laughs> me, bro. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. Thank you so much for coming on the show, bro. It's, it's really an honor to have you, and today... I only got seven questions for you. Seven is the number of perfection. It's a lucky number. And it's the number that um, Ben Roethlisberger wore when he was hitting you with all those dimes. So <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be smooth. We're going to get through these questions. At the end, we're going to play a game called um, Who Wants to Be a Crypto Near? It's going to be a touchdown. Sounds good? Yes, sir. I'm with it. Let's do it. All right, bro. So... What was the exact moment that you knew crypto was the lane for you to hop in? Like, pay not the mm. <laughs> Damn, that's a good question. I felt like crypto uh, was never a good lane for me to hop in. What? Because uh, when I hopped in in 20, the end of 2017 football year going into 2018, um, it was like, it was different, man. It was, it was, it was kind of sideways, uh, on its way to elevation. I, I kind of missed that wave, but, um, I felt like, uh, my brother, my oldest brother was my influence to get into crypto. And I just took it. Um, I kind of put it in my back pocket and, um, uh, it wasn't until I decided to give NFTs a run when crypto kind of became more relevant to me. Okay. Okay. That, that makes sense for me. I work at like a finance institution, so I know a little bit about like stocks and investing and like, you know, getting into crypto is a little bit risky. So uh, it was just kind of like taking a chance on something and just going in and learning it, going on YouTube and just studying something. So like, if you don't mind, like what was that transition like, you know, so you said you didn't pick it up right away in 2017. When you got in, what was it like? Were you successful? make um picking up blue chips already or like what was you doing when you first started research um honestly so when i first got into um nfts it was a lot of research for me um and i never 
I never purchased anything. I was just in the background looking at things, seeing how things played out, uh, trying to get a grasp and understanding of the space. So for me, it was like a lot of learning. Um, it wasn't until I met the high Indian as to when I started to purchase, buy, uh, trade, sell mm -hmm. NFTs that just become like everybody else. Facts, facts. Okay, that's lit, bro. Yeah, Hi put me onto my first Ethereum blockchain NFT. Actually, while we was on this altcoin, and I started off playing DeFi Kingdom. So that's lit, man. You, yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's what I was playing too. <laughs> oh, you play DeFi Kingdoms? Yeah, I'm big right. in the DeFi Kingdoms. Yes, sir. My nigga. <laughs> I didn't even know we got to rap about that. Say less. You recently had a newborn congratulations thank you thank you yes sir i'm wishing you much prosperity abundance and just like more life bro it's a blessing and um what what position does family play for you in your life and what's your mission Ah, uh, man i mean i don't if you can hear my kids in the background um my kids are pretty much everything man family is everything um I had my I had my son in the middle of football season, my oldest son. From that moment forward, man, it was um life changing. Uh oh. elevated my game, elevated my mental process, elevated the things that um shit, the little things in life that I could get away with without kids and, you know, transition into being the best dad possible. So uh husband as well, man. So they're everything. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So when it comes to crypto, like as a um, asset, knowledge, and um, something that you could possibly pass on to your children or your family, what's your vision? Like, what investments are you making? Are you just buying coins? Are you buying like NFTs to pass on? Like, I even heard they have um like uh, retirement um, crypto funds. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what are, you, what are you trying to do? Um, honestly, man, um, I'm in the process right now of, uh, creating my, my own NFT, uh, project. Um, and really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set an example for how you should, um, run an NFT project, uh, from start to finish. Um, and that's, uh, not only that I'm, I'm, I think this space is not, um, influenced enough the right way by its quote unquote influencers so yeah. i just think that i i, I will pay a, a pivotal role in that and uh just trying to be an example honestly balloon town right so yes sir <laughs> yeah i'm excited for it, bro congratulations what's Thank you. no problem bro what, what's the best thing about creating a project and what's the hardest thing so far Ooh. oh man um I'd say the hardest thing is trying to get everybody on the same page, right? <laughs> um, you know, when you run a business, you know, uh, people have different lifestyles, people have different uh, tasks, people have different um, agendas. Um, I feel like getting everybody on the same page to meet, you know, we got a timeline on a project August 14th. So, you know, trying to push everybody to understand that that is a big day, everything needs to be done for that day you know what i'm saying so that's kind of how uh how how hard the part is but the the good part about it is you're seeing your work come to fruition you're seeing you know your hard work we've done no marketing we haven't paid anybody to pub our project we don't we don't wake up with 500 retweets we get enough engagement for us to know that we're important to a certain amount of people and i just feel like that's how you build your foundation you know what i'm saying because once it hits open sea and once people start posting it and the art's there that's going to bring in its own its own marketing you know what i'm saying and the way i've always thought about this project is the same way i think about football you know it's, it's, it's i'm not really uh what you consider a leader in football i don't like telling other grown men what to do i like to be an example and be a playmaker and that itself is leadership so that's kind of how i wanted to do this project message okay that, that's lit bro that, that that's inspiring to hear man so look we're, 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 we're both men of color, African men, mm -hmm. African-Americans. 
from yep. the north. We both played sports. I, I was playing basketball in high school and whatnot. Okay. Um, but we might like have a common lens for the way we see the world or the way we like experience this world. So, mm-hmm. like, how do you feel Web three will affect that experience for like a black person? In, in in a world that's not always set up to make them succeed, you know, like will it? Oh, will that's it good. Impact that's it. A good question. That's a good question. Oh man, that's a good question. Um, I feel like we need more people like us to truly believe in it because we have a hard time doing things of which we're the minority, and you know what I'm saying. So I feel yeah. like uh, there's not a lot of uh, African American project creators. There's not a lot of African American project owners. There's not a lot of African American project buyers, consumers, sellers. So we are the minority in this space trying to create a majority in this space. And that's going to take time and belief. And I feel like, like I said, as long as we do this the right way, we'll be good. And I feel like that is in itself will be an example and give people enough belief to be like, if they did it, I can too. That was a hell of a question. Excellent answer, man. So my last question, one piece of advice you give um, someone with a platform before entering this space, like what should mm-hmm. they do? Like what's, what's the blueprint to like being successful in Web3 space? Mm. Ah, I don't think it is a blueprint, man. Um, I think I think it's like this. I think if you want to be successful in this space, yeah. have open communication, be real, take losses with uh with you know with a grain of salt and understand that you can't make everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? Like the life is a design to make everybody happy. You're not going to make uh, Nike doesn't make everybody happy. Uh, Under Armour doesn't make everybody happy. Uh, I mean, I play football. For some, some, every week, you know, we can't make everybody happy. So it's like, bro, just, just, you know, take this space for what it is. Understand that it's not your job to persuade people for happiness, and just be you. Message. I like it, bro. I like it. Appreciate it. That's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. And let's go. I'm ready for the game. Let's yeah. fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is a game who wants to be a crypto man all right <laughs> thank you for coming on the show and we're gonna get started man it's gonna be three questions and uh we just gotta answer them really quickly man you win at the end the glory <laughs> Easy. all right but first question what is the first nft on ethereum blockchain Terra mm. nullius rare pepe Crypto Punks or Board Ape Yacht Club? Mm, that's good. I want to say it was Rare Pepe, but I believe it was Crypto Punks. <laughs> it's Terra Nellies. Was it really? I was gonna that's say good. that, but I was like, I was like, I was like, I've never heard of that like fully, like that <laughs> name. Fuck it, you got yeah. it. I want to say it was Rare Pepe though, but fuck they it. They discovered I'm... it in 2015, but Rare Pepe is. Uh, the first one after that one. Like, okay, okay. I wanted to say it's rare pet pay, but you got it. You can have it turn early. I would have never got that. <laughs> next, next one. Finish the blank. It's going to be a blank summer. A hot boy summer and <laughs> soul summer? Is it soul? <laughs> soul summers. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, bro. By definition, what type of wallet is a ledger considered as? A cold wallet. Hardware wallet. Okay, good one, good one. Yes, sir. Cold hardware wallet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you got that um a giveaway going on with Ledger, I heard, man. Yeah, so, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Thank yes, you, man. Sir. Yes, sir, man. So thank you for coming on the show, man. That's it. And Dope. good to go. I, I appreciate you for your time, bro. And I'm going to uh, edit it. It's going to be lit. Dope, bro. Can't wait. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. And have yes, a great day, bro. You too.